Rise and shine, YouTube. Hope, hope everyone's having a fantastic day. My name's Annie G. This is my first YouTube video. Today, we're gonna go ahead and explore downtown Deland. Some of you might not know anything about downtown Deland, but it's a city, a small historic city in between Orlando and Daytona Beach. There's a restaurant, there's shops, bars. So if you're in the local area, you should definitely stop by and take a look. There's something for everyone. Guys, we're already here in downtown Deland. This is the uh, the main street, which is known as Woodland Boulevard. It's where you're gonna find all the shops and restaurants and bars, places to hang out with your friends, your family. Simmon Hollow Brewing Company. It's coming up right here on your right hand side. Oh, there's a car coming. We gotta turn. Um, UPS is not sponsored, by the way. Yes, it's not. Um, it's a microbrewery, so I believe they have their own beers and whatnot here, but they also, it's just like a cool spot. Let's check it out. So here we have Da Vinci's. It's a local, uh, it's a local bar, but I believe they also serve food. I mean, they have a taco place over here, but they also actually have uh, concerts here on the weekends. I believe Fridays and Saturday nights they have local musicians come, and they even have a stage for them. But it's a really cool spot. A lot of the local locals come over here and hang out. There's a pool table in the back. There's two bars, one that's inside, which I don't believe is open yet. I don't know. It's five o'clock somewhere. There's also a bar right out here. So it's a really cool little hangout spot. This reminds me of the Tiki Hut from Disney. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. We're gonna go down this road over here. Oops, sorry. Okay, so this is the bake shop. I've never actually eaten here before, but I heard that the food is really good. I don't know if there's a menu out here that we can look at. I don't. Oh, here it is. There is a menu here. Let's check it out. Everything's just so beautiful. Let's see. They've got burgers, sandwiches, salads, small plates, and I think that the menu changes every so often. I'm not 100% sure, but here's the QR code. So Friday nights, every Friday night. I don't know if you knew this, Ryan, or not, but every Friday night from six to nine, they have an artisan farmer's market here that takes Ooh. place and so they have local honey um, fruit vegetables do they desserts. have organic things yes they do actually oh my gosh so i'm gonna come here. they've got crafts that well we're here on a friday i just don't know if we're gonna be here till six but they've got um well we can we can at least try so youtube can see <laughs> we can try I don't, I don't know if it's gonna happen this time but we will we will see but it's cool i've been actually a couple of times i've been and it's I don't know, it's just like a really fun place. Everybody comes out. I don't know if this place is open. Mondays and Sundays 
11 to 5. Oh, it doesn't open until 3. Go, girl. <laughs> Go, girl. They used to have like wings, like angel wings here that people used to take pictures of, but I don't see them anymore. I want to say, want to say it was like on this wall, but. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Little murals and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if there's anything over here. I forgot to mention that there are a variety of like events that take place here all the time. Um, last weekend, Ryan and I went to uh, the Mardi Gras dog parade. It was amazing. I went with my best friend, <laughs> Maddie. <laughs> yeah. But they uh, they also host like block parties. Um, there's like art festivals. So there's always something going on um, at least once or twice uh, during the month. So. If you happen to be interested and are you're in this local area, you should look on the uh, Deland website and they should be able to give you a calendar with the events that are going to be taking place during the time that you're here. That way you can kind of plan ahead. And usually they're free to, uh, to attend so you don't have to worry about an additional cost. Of course, once you get to the event, you know, there might be vendors and things like that that you can pay a little extra for. But other than that, parking's free. There's no tickets. Actually, I take that back. So for the events, for the uh, block party events, you do have to pay a ticket to uh, get into the event because what they do is they close off the block, hence block party, and they give you a wristband. And with that wristband, you're going to be able to either drink or eat based on the amount that you pay. Uh, oh, here's a, uh, a wine shop, which is pretty cool for you local wine drinkers, aka boozers, that like to drink. Uh, Asian market. Don't, 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 don't make me confused. What? <laughs> nothing, nothing. Oh, okay. Continue, continue, continue. Oh, there's a dog store. <gasps> Fun facts about the Athens Theater is the historic theater was designed in 1921 by prominent Orlando architect Murray King. It first opened its doors on January 6, 1922. Following a renovation in the 1950s, the building deteriorated and eventually closed in the early 1990s. Ownership was transferred July 2004 to Sand Theater Center Incorporated, who took the project of restoring the building to its original splendor. On January 6, 2009, the Athens Theater reopened its, reopened its doors. So today, the theater hosts a variety of musicals, plays, and dance classes. I myself have never been in it, but I've always Me yeah, I've always wanted to see a show there. I think it'd be really fun, especially during the holidays. I think this year they had a musical with Elf. So we oh, tried really? to get tickets, but they were sold out. They really did a good job in restoring it to like what the original I saw pictures online and it almost like I mean it looks a little bit better than what it used to but I don't know I kind of like curious to see like what it looks like inside I think it'd be really fun to check out and I'm sure they they probably do a really good job but yeah even like the box office is like from back in the day oh wow I like they have like a list of like events that are taking place Kind of like a, res a reflection, so I don't know if everybody can see, but they always got a lot going on, so it's pretty cool. I'll see you right there. Nope, didn't even know you were there. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, maybe you can see a little bit in here. Uh, you can really at least see the front. That's cool. So they've got a chess park here, which is pretty, pretty nice. Yeah. It's right next to the courthouse, hence the name Courthouse Plaza, but it's a nice place to just kind of relax. They have a lot of benches here, so walking through here and at night, 
Oh yeah, that's pretty nice too. And then at night they have lights. If we're here at night, which I don't think we will be, but if we are, we can kind of take a video of what it looks like with the lights on. But if nice and- We'll try our best. We'll try our best, yeah. It's nice and shady here though, so it's kind of nice to get away from the sun because these uh, Florida summer months can, uh, can be kind of crazy. Looks like they have restrooms too, which is always nice. Which is always nice whenever you're out and about in a little town and you're not going to eat at a restaurant. Oh, here's the chess club. I'm ready. So here we have the, uh, the chess boards here. Uh, and I don't know how to play chess, but I'm, it sounds cool. Yeah, I don't know how to play chess either, but... Yeah, it's pretty cool that they have all this oh, out. Oh, you can hear the clock going on. I know. That's so magical to me. Oh, I heard this restaurant's really good, Cress. I've never been because they're actually closed like random days, but I heard the food is pretty good. Looks like it's closed right now. Oh, there's the elusive grape. What? That elusive grape place, it's a awesome. wine bar. And they've got like charcuterie boards with like the cheese and the meats and whatnot. Ooh, but then you can get nice. glasses of wine, which... It's funny because I actually just learned yesterday what a charcuterie board is. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. They're pretty popular nowadays. This is where we walked. Uh, oh, yeah, when we went to the donut to go yeah, get donuts. Yeah, for, uh, for the dog parade. Yeah. Oh, here at yeah. De La Vega, they have the best sangrias I've ever had. And it's actually, I only drink the white sangrias, and they're really good. It's kind of like a, uh, I think it's a Spain, a Spanish restaurant, but yeah, it's pretty good. I, I enjoyed my sangria. I'm thinking about taking my dad here. He likes sangrias too. Uh, so. and that's where we got breakfast. Oh, yep. For uh, the dog parade. They also have a lot of salons here too. Like they have a massage therapy, but they also have salons and barbershops here. So if uh, you need to uh, get fresh, then that would be. Oh, I heard this Greek place is really good too. I've never had it. Santorini. I heard it had really good Greek food. Oh, looks like this place is closed. I think they're only open, oh, they're only open six to two, and then seven to 12 for breakfast all day long on Saturdays, and Sunday they're closed. That's why they're closed on Sundays. But they have the best donuts. Danny, that's the guy who gave us our donuts. Oh, yeah, he must be doing like inventory or something. Lace and accessories. I'm guessing it's just uh, Ooh, a consignment shop. I love those jeans. Oh yeah, those are pretty cool. Somebody must have made those, that like altered them. Yes. And that hat, gorgeous girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a, I think there's about 44 different stores. Um, let me see, actually. I had uh, done the research here. So, there's a, yeah, there's about 44 stores. There's bookstores, antique shops, gift stores, clothing stores. So, there's a pretty good variety in case you come with, like, different people. Everybody has something. Headed into Stetson University, and it's really a beautiful campus. I've got a couple of friends who went here, or that go here currently, and it was founded in 1883 as Deland Academy. This is Florida's first private university. About 4,000 students are currently enrolled at Stetson. Fun fact: parts of Adam Sandler's film The Water Boy was filmed at Stetson University. I like the mini pink. Not a lot of kids on campus today. I wonder if it's just like there's usually not a lot of oh you know what it is? Spring break. Ah. Actually. I forgot that my friend told me she had spring break. 
Look at this old building, Elizabeth Hall. That looks super, super old. Some of the buildings don't look as old, so I'm guessing like they were constructed after the fact. Maybe this is like original, is what it looks like. It's so pretty outside. It is nice. Yeah. Very nice campus. So this is known as Pioneer Park. It's on the corner of Woodland and Rich Avenue. And I believe it was dedicated in 1996. I, I want to I wanna say that the citizens of the land were actually the faces that they used for this mural. So it's a nice little spot. Got like a little fountain here. Picnic tables. This is uh, the restaurant, the table. It's actually a really cool spot. I really like the atmosphere. I'm not sure if you can hear me with all the water, but I'm gonna take you down here so you can check it out. It's a good spot to actually have brunch on Sundays. I believe they have it from 11 to three. And it's, uh, it's, it's a type of brunch where they actually bring the food to you. So you just have to ask for it. But I like it because it's got this mural right here of the humanities, which is really nice. This is a cool spot to have brunch or just hang out with your friends and have a drink. It's a little loud. Oh, there's my friend Ryan just hanging out. So, Hi YouTube! <laughs> yeah, it's nice. It's nice and relaxing. like a lot of Florida stuff. Oh, this is cool. I didn't know they had like shot glasses. How much are they? Seven dollars. It's not horrible. You walk around.
We've got some cool stuff here. The squishmallows. They're not squishmallows. Oh. Or, oh no, these aren't. I thought they were. Uh, oh, look at the little elephant. That's cute. Oh, Dumbo. I didn't know if it was Dumbo. Oh, I like these wine holders. They're cute. $39. That's cool. It's fun. It's cool if like you had a condo on the beach. They always have some cool stuff in here. thinking about getting this for my cousin who's a police officer I think it's $40 last time I looked it's pretty cool it's made out of gun shells That's a cool table. Whoa. It's 150. It's pretty cool. I like the colors. It's very beachy themed. I'm sure. And then I'll, I'll, I think the rug doesn't bother me when the pillows are not bad. But then I don't really like the rug either. So. Yeah, you like turtles? I'm gonna go out this oh, one. I'm gonna try to go out that one. I feel like they have soaps here too. So everybody's really big about soaps around here. I've got a lot of dirty people. Just kidding. <laughs> I got more. Um, Look, I have cabbage patch dolls. So 1984. Wow, these are really old. Jeez. It's crazy. Do you remember? You, you weren't around for cabbage patch dolls. Hmm. Look at this one. Come here. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> they have pretty good uh, sandwiches here. Can't, can't remember if I like the sandwiches or the soup. But, oh, look at this dresser. Kind of cool. All right, let's go. Soaps again. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good morning. These socks are cute. Yeah. I think they sell sangrias here. Do you ever want to learn how to juggle? For juggling. Oh, these are cute. It's a wine pour. <laughs> really chirps. They have some cool games. I like that one, the Tiki Toss for the desktop. It's like 40 bucks though, but it's kind of cool. You try to get the little uh, ring and the little, uh, like little lock.
come on. mango cider and then Ryan's got a regular coca-cola <laughs> <That's> not, <kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> not sponsored <laughs> you're ridiculous I think I might just get the burger but I'm not sure is that kind of what you're getting I'm getting a, a, just a normal burger with no un no onions, no pickles. Hmm. <laughs> Does it say what it comes with? Oh, lettuce, tomato, of onion. Course, yeah. uh, includes one good side. What side are you going to get? Plantains, regular fries, side salad, or crispy bean salad? Plantain. Okay. Sounds good to me. I think I'm gonna do the same thing. Well, I mean a burger, but. Oh, we didn't cheers. Cheers. It's a good time to good friends. <laughs> burger. Not fried. Oh, yeah. It's so big. Yeah. It's not the kids' portion. Uh, thank you. Appreciate it. Oh. Uh, thanks. I barely made a dent. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty big burger. Good thing. Yeah, maybe I'll start with the fries. Fries are pretty good. Thanks for watching today and I hope you enjoyed the tour of downtown Deland. I had a really fun time showing you guys around so hopefully you, you decide to come along for the next uh, little trip that we have planned. If you're interested please like and subscribe and you're always free to comment down below if there's any places around Florida that you'd like me to go visit. Thanks so much again for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care guys. And remember to be kind and don't be an a-hole. It's not that hard. See ya.